Agency. Welcome to another video, and we're gonna be making a Procreate brush. I have a new Procreate brush. I've been working on it for a minute. I've been using a lot of ballpoint pens and all of my art. If you guys have been following for the past couple weeks, you guys know I've been in love with sketching with a ballpoint pen. A uh, blue one, preferably, it's my favorite one. I don't know why I like the blue one so much. I use a black one, but the blue one's my favorite. So anyways, I made a brush in Procreate. I made a brush in Photoshop. The Photoshop one is okay. I don't think I want to release it yet because it's not as good. But in this video, I'm going to be making the Procreate one. But then I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite brushes that are in Procreate and then some of them I bought. I'm gonna show those two and I'll tell you guys where to get them if you guys want them. And then a few of them are my own custom brushes, uh, like the ballpoint pen that we're gonna be making today. And if you're interested in grabbing this pen, and it's gonna be on Patreon for my paid um, patrons, I guess it's a dollar. But if you don't want to sub to the Patreon, you can just buy it. But Patreon has a lot of perks, like uh, behind the scenes and Photoshop files and long videos and stuff like that. So if you want to check out the Patreon, that'd be sick. Uh, brush will be there. And maybe in a few weeks, I'll drop it on the coffee or something like that. But um, right now, it's on Patreon, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let's talk about the process. Before I was able to create the brush or procreate, I had to like draw on actual paper to get like the brush strokes right and if I can like imitate the texture on procreate and I ended up making my own textures just for this brush to try to get the right noise and all that and I try to recreate the ballpoint feel as much as I could it still doesn't feel like paper for, I mean for obvious reasons it's not gonna ever feel like paper even if you have that screen protector that feels like paper that just I feel like that just makes the sound of paper it doesn't really give it that feel but on paper your ballpoint just glides but I try to imitate that as much as I could so after I made all the textures I took a picture of it with my iPad and I brought it into Procreate just so I could mess with the hue and the saturation and all the curves so I can try to make all the darks stand out and then it would be a little bit gritty looking and the brush strokes would have texture So after a few hours of just messing with the textures, I went through so many textures, I can't I, I didn't even record it all because there was just so many textures. I started doodling and trying to imitate how I would draw my sketchbook. So I'm trying to do the cross hatching to get shadows. And, and I want to do like a little sample drawing for when I start promoting this on social media and people could see like what the brush looks like. So here I am just doodling my character, doodling shapes. And I ended up just doing like a bunch of different doodles, kind of like if it was like in a uh, notebook, like if you're in school and you have a notebook. So that's what I'm doing right here. So just enjoy the process for like a minute, all right? Well, I'll be back. I'll be back. So I wanted to pop in here and talk a little bit about this character, like the process. I wanted to draw the character like I was on paper. When I do it on paper, I don't use a sketch. But for this one, I had to use a sketch because I wanted it to be cleaner because I was gonna use it for like the promotion, the promotional or whatever. But after I went over it with more detail, I tried to give it that little gritty texture and make it more sketchy and add a little sketchy strokes to it. But, but I hope it comes off as that, that was like the, the concept, the mindset behind it. If you guys can see that, just comment and let me know. That would have been dangerous. That would have been dangerous. Oh my god. Alright. Down! I gotta do the thing first. Pogo, Dak! Nigga, Pogo didn't go! You fucking. Okay. I'm a 
Lost cause, bro. Bit too long as well. So this shoulder would need to come down a couple centimeters for it to touch ground. If you actually want to lean into it. Hey, what's up, Zero? How's it going? Just trying to get things done. <laughs> So now for the last bit of doodles, I just filled up this whole page with just a bunch of doodles. I did not use any sketches or anything. I just wanted it to be exactly how I would do it on paper. I would just start drawing. Except for using that straight line right there, that was kind of cheating, I guess. But when I go in there on the inside, start doing the detail, I don't use a straight line tool. But but I feel like since I went in there and sketched everything, it, it, to me, it really looks like a ballpoint pen. I feel like I, I captured it. I, I was working on this forever, and I feel like... I feel like it works. Look at, look at this. Look at the cross hatching. How it just like overlaps and it gets darker and darker. If you, if you go over it again and again, it just keeps getting darker and darker. But again, if you download this brush, I recommend doing it in blue and mainly using it. I mean, you can use it for final art, but I'm mainly gonna use it for sketching and doodling. But that blue, it just in blue, it just makes it look exactly like a ballpoint pen. It's crazy. It's crazy to me just looking at it, watching it back. And last but not least, I'm trying to show you guys my favorite brushes in Procreate. The first brush right here I'm using is going to be my ballpoint pen. I know the angle kind of sucks, but uh, you get to see afterwards what it looks like. Uh, I'm just doing like the straight lines and the little sketchy cross hatching. And then you guys be the judge. I'll put a final photo at the end and you guys tell me if you like any of these. Some are stock brushes, some are brushes I paid for. Uh, I'll let you guys know which ones I paid for. But first is a ballpoint pen. And then the second pen that I'm gonna use is the dry ink brush. And the dry ink brush is like one of the first brushes I ever used when I got Procreate. I love it. I love the texture. I love the grittiness. But uh, I modified mine a little bit. I added like a, a hue shift to it. So every time I make strokes, it stays within like blue. I'm using blue and it kind of shifts a little bit to purple and then another favorite brush of mine is the syrup brush the syrup brush is another brush I would always use when I first got my iPad syrup dry ink together I would use them together I would use the syrup for line work and I would use a dry ink for shadows uh, on multiply so like cell shading basically but the syrup is just clean and it gets that thick end and then there's a sharp tip I, I love that one I, I recommend that one but another one I love for inking is called the Gazinski ink I believe it's in the inking tab. I love using this one for shading because it's like square and it gives you nice sharp edges. Another one which is on everybody's list I'm pretty sure is a 6B pencil in the sketching tab but on mine's I use the hue shift on this one also because when you're sketching it just changes color slightly and I just I like the way that looks. Next up is the Narender pencil. I'm probably saying these all wrong, but I love this pencil for sketching. But I, for a while, I was using this for my line art because I stopped caring about getting that crispy line art. And the Narender pencil just, it just has like a little gritty look to it, and I love it. And I always paired the Narender pencil with the Nico Roll brush. I love this brush. It's perfect. It's perfect for shadows. And I would use a smudge tool to blend the edges so it would look a little bit soft on the edges, but square on the bottom. I don't know. This is a perfect brush shading. I would try it. I'll give it a try. Now this is one of the first brush packs I ever bought from Drew Green. If you just look up Drew Green brush pack on Google, you'll find it. It's like for cartooning and this calligraphy brush, I love this one. I use this one for when I do like Spider-Verse style art. It has like that uh, rotation to it, so it's not like a perfect circle or perfect square. It's kind of like offset, but that Drew Green brush pack, I, I use that all the time. 
And another one from that brush pack is called the Bold Pen. It's kind of like a more of a rounder brush. I love using this one for my cartoons, my cartoon characters, because it's just like there's no line weight or nothing. It's just a straight round brush. After that, in the same brush pack, we have the Hard Gouache. It's more of like a uh, super gritty, noisy brush. It's for painting, but I make it the pixel super small and I use it for my inking brush. And I like it because it's kind of like a brush pen. Next up is a brush that I created. It's called the Ghost Inker. Um, I also made this one for sketching, but uh, I love using this one for um, line art. I did a couple drawings with this one. I, I wanted to make my whole comic book with this one, but you know, comic books, a lot of commitment. I never did it, but the Ghost Inker, that one's on my Patreon as well. I love this one. Another stock brush that I edited, this is a uh, the studio pen, but I took away the taper and added a little bit more texture to it, so it's not... Add a little bit more texture to it so it's a little bit more grittier, but the edges are completely round, no taper at all. I, I love this. I love editing brushes. And then last, probably my most used brush ever is the Dungeons Buddies brush by uh, Panel Per Day on Instagram. It's a free brush. It's just like a a, a micron, a fine liner, I would say. It's, it's perfect for making cartoons. Like, I love it for making cartoons. There's no line weight, and I just love that about it. Well, that's all for me. I hope I didn't bore you guys. I hope this wasn't too boring. I just wanted to share some of my favorite brushes. Also, I wanted to promote my newest brush that I just made. I put a lot of time into this brush so you guys can give it a, a look. It's only a dollar for through the Patreon tier. Um, there's a there's an option for three dollars where if you don't want to be a patron you can just buy it for three dollars but it's better just to be a patron for a dollar and then you get to download all my other brushes on top of that including the ghost inker and then also you get to download my uh procreate files my photoshop files it's it's just i have a lot of stuff for a dollar basically just a dollar anyways uh you can cancel it after that i'm not i'm not a good salesman it, it, but it's a cool brush i love this brush um i hope you guys try it out i hope you guys doodle with it i hope you guys sketch uh that's what i'm gonna be using it for i love it uh, here's a here's a here's a little promotional art that we made for it um, also shout out to my patrons shout out to you guys sorry if this video was a, a yap fest but you're you're if you're new here this is what i do i just i just yap I, I don't go out of script or anything i read i just start talking and i don't stop talking until i stop recording